thanks for coming back for part two of why real estate will not crash in 2023. Now, in our last part, we talked about how, how demand is not our problem, affordability is our problem. And so as we take a closer look now into what's happening in the market, it's going to make a little bit more sense to you why real estate's not going to crash in 2023. Let's talk about interest rates and what interest rates are. Most of us think that a low interest rate is a really good thing, but one way to look at this is, is think about interest rates kind of like the, the heartbeat of the economy. And, and depending on what the interest rates are doing, that tells us how strong or how weak the body is or how weak the economy is. And so most of us think that low interest rates is a good thing. And yeah, low interest rates are great for us personally, but when we're looking at the economy as a whole, low interest rates actually signify weakness. And so let's look at it this way. If, if you're at the hospital and your heart rate goes too low, that means you're facing cardiac arrest. Likewise, if your heart rate is, is fluctuating too high, that means you're putting too much stress on your heart and either way, you could have fatal consequences. The same happens with interest rates. When interest rates are too low, that means our economy is struggling. That means that we're taking drastic measures to get the, the economy going again. And, and so even though it's good for us personally, it's not good as a whole. The next thing we want to talk about is that when we're looking at, at the price of real estate, this, the old adage, the old economic 101 comes into play where price is determined by supply and demand. When there are too many homes on the market, prices will fall. When there's too many buyers in the market, prices will rise. And this is what's happening with real estate right now as well. Um, because of the low affordability of high interest rates, less people are able to come to market to buy these homes. But as soon as the interest rates fall, more people will come back to the market and will stabilize those home prices. In part three of this series, we're going to talk a little bit more about what's happened over the recent mm, couple of decades and see if we can predict what's going to happen over the next year based on the things we've already experienced in this economy.